Oh, a sort of code in this sort of code. Uh, what we will be doing, uh, we will today talk talk about the repetition. And from the repetition, uh, we we already have discussed the counter counter loop, and that was for next. We have seen it in detail. For next in detail, and now today uh, we will talk about condition condition. Loop. So the condition loop. It is actually uh, a true based. There are two type of condition loop. One is true based, and the other one is false based. The true based is called as while and while. So this is a true based, and false based is repeat. So today we will see the true based number one. That is the true based, which is while and while. This is the loop we will discuss today. Okay. Now uh, the while and while loop or the true based loop, it is there are certain things that you will remember <clears throat> that in true based or the while loop, the condition is tested from the start. So we check the condition. Condition is checked. So before this, the true based or the false based, they both depends on the condition. As you can see here, so there is a condition which is important for the loop to execute, for the loop to to repeat or to iterate. So uh, while we were talking about the repetition, we have seen that in the counter there there are uh, no number of iterations, and in condition the iteration depends on this this condition. So if the condition is true, it will execute. If the condition is false, it will execute. And here, when the condition is false, this loop will stop. Here, the condition is true, the loop will stop. So, when we talk about the first one, that is the true based loop, and that is while and while, this loop, in this loop, the condition is checked at start. So, in the start, you will check it. The condition will be checked. Number two. Now, the condition, the outcome of the condition. The outcome of condition must be must be true in order to in order to uh, run the loop run or execute the statement so if you want to execute the statement the outcome of this condition must be true okay now the third thing is that in uh, in this loop now here in this loop we have uh, if we are doing a kind of counting, then you must know that in this loop, uh, the counting will be done. So the counting will be done ourselves. So here, we'll be doing the counting. If there is some kind of counting in it, counting will be done manually, means ourselves. You remember in for next the counting was done with the help of next but in a while loop if there is any work of counting that then counting will be done manually okay 
so these few things uh, we will uh, we will consider while working with the while loop now i'm uh, giving you an example of while loop here now let's say we have i is equal to 1 this is a counter variable now where the condition is in the start so we write while i is less than 10 this is the condition which we are doing in the start then what it will do it will now uh, for example it will input number will input a number n and then it is going to total it let's say sum is equal to sum plus n so the numbers will be total and as i said you have seen that the condition is checked in the start so it is start the condition is checking in the start and then these are the uh, steps which will be iterated and now following this thing that counting will be done ourselves so i is starting from 1 it has to go till then we will do i is equal to i plus 1 so we are we will do like this and then and by this is a very simple uh, kind of program and what will happen in this program now i when i is 1 let's say this is i this is condition and then we have sum okay so i is 1 condition is true sum is 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus n so n is we have to uh, we have to add n as well here let me create some space sir okay so screen total just wait so i'm you you can take the screenshot of it because then i will be uh okay just you can have it let me open the just let me open it so now i'm opening the notepad here now you can see the notepad i'm sure it's visible <clears throat> now what i will be doing here in this uh, in this program okay so addition this is what we did in the for loop now let's see what we'll do here okay now uh, now what we'll do here is that uh, we will just uh, input the numbers and until the number is not zero we'll keep on inputting the numbers okay so what we will do that uh, uh, first we will say that input n okay while n is not equal to zero what it will do it will keep on adding it sum is equal to sum plus n okay so it is it is it is constantly adding the numbers sum is equal to sum plus n and again it is asking for number input n now you will see that uh, what will happen in this program and once once we will end it it's a very simple and very uh, very simplest kind of program we are asking the person to enter a number okay uh, let's say we say print enter a number we are saying that enter a number and when the person enter a number it will check that is that number is equal to 0 no if it is not equal to 0 it will add it it will sum them and when when it will sum them let's say we will also initialize sum sum is equal to 0 why we are doing it so that the total the sum must must not It should have an initial value in it, which is zero. So when the person input a number, if that number is not zero, 
if it is not zero then one it will it will do it will sum that into sum and then it will again ask for a number so now i will show you this with the help of a program uh, this will make you although we are not uh, working in pc basic but just for a reference you can see i'm saying input n and at 20 i'm saying while n is not equal to 0 <clears throat> then in 30 input then in 30 sum is equal to sum plus n and 40 input gain n and 50 we are saying uh vent in uh in video basic it's vent i think 60 and run so we are entering three four five zero it stops yes so one more thing we can do over here is that we can output it means <clears throat> you will see it will keep on this time when i run it it just asks three times now if again i will run it if i give it keep giving one 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 or two 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 you'll see that the program will never stop unless i will not input zero the moment i input it zero it stops okay if i run it again and the first entry is zero it will stop now in this case you people can see that uh, executing the program the execution of this program depends on the value zero so this is how i will explain it here in uh, <clears throat> You can see here that what I did here is let me clear the board, resuming the recording. Okay, now let's say uh, I have to do this in in for loop. If by using the for loop, if I have to add let's say five numbers, what what I have to do for i is equal to one to ten, and then I ask for number input n and then I, I just sum it sum is equal to sum plus n and then I have to just next i and then I can print sum. So whenever I run this program it will always iterate 10 times it means it will always look for uh, the numbers 10 times here okay so let me select it input n so whenever i run this program it will always ask for user to input 10 numbers randomly let's say 2 3 1 4 5 0 1 1 2 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then one more number one so what it will do it will add them to so two plus three is five five plus one is six six plus four is ten ten plus five is fifteen zero fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty so the answer is one this is what it will do with the help of for loop so if i will do the same program with while loop when i will do with while loop what will happen i will do it again now i is let's say I will just make it a little different. I will say, first of all, I will say print and I will say enter a number. Enter a number. Now I'm making a loop in a total different way. And then I will ask, I will do it in input and the person has input and now I will apply condition while n is not equal to zero unless the user input the number which the user is inputting is not zero what it will do it will sum them sum is equal to sum plus n it will total them and after doing this it will again ask again it will give uh, you can give a message or you can just without writing the message you can say Again, you will say input number. Again, it will ask for number. 
will put m and then what it will do and while this is a very interesting program and while and then what we'll do here is that we will print what sum will print sum so the sum will be printed over here now see when this program will run what will happen if i show you the dry run of it now let's say uh, the person n n is input and then the condition condition is tested this question mark is for condition and then we'll have some okay then again and will be input so first of all let's say the person input 2 2 is not equal to 0 so it is true so what it will do 2 plus and 0 plus 2 is true sum is true so again it will ask for a number let's say it is 4 4 is not equal to 0 true 4 plus 2 is 6 Again, it will ask for number. Again, it will this line will ask number. Let's say three. Three is not equal to zero. True. Six plus three is nine. Again, it will run, and it again it will ask from here. It will ask number again. That is one. So one is not equal to zero. True. Nine plus one is ten. Again, it will move. Again, it will ask for a number. Let's say it is five. Five is not equal to true. So it is fifteen. Now the person will input zero. Here it will put zero. When it will put zero, when it will come here, after this it always go back, and it will compare. Now here, the condition is not n is not equal to zero. N is equal to zero. So this condition is false. When the condition become false, it will not go inside, and it will come out. And what it will do? It will output what? It will output the total that is fifteen. So fifteen is the answer. This will be out. This is how the while loop works. This is how the while loop it, it executes. It calculates the counting. So in for you see, when this program runs, it always iterate 10 times. How we know this? Because the loop is set to 1 to 10. It will always iterate 10 times. But in while loop, we don't know how many times it, it will iterate because it depends on this condition. Until this condition is true, the loop will keep on repeating again and again, again and again. The moment the condition will become false, it might be in the start, it might be after five entries, it might be after 10 entries, it might be after 100 entries, it might be after 1000 entries. The moment the number will become zero, the person who is inputting, he will input in N, he will input zero, the program will stop, no matter how many times it is repeated. So this is what the while loop is doing. And this is, and in this while loop, we, we, we do this by following these, uh, these criteria that the condition will be tested in the start and it must be, the outcome must be true and then we are moving inside. So this is how the while loop, while loop is doing its work.